Not to average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome to Not Your Average Tabletop. I'm Zach, and for today's video, I'm going to be unboxing Roll for the Galaxy. So, Roll for the Galaxy is a game that I won in a tournament that I hosted. Um, it was all dice based, and um, this was one that I'd, I'd heard of quite a bit, but I'd never had the chance to play. And it was. Um, it's ranked quite high on Board Game Geek. And it's also relatively cheap compared to some other board games. Um, so pretty well priced. Uh, let's see what we got here. The cover looks very interesting. We got two um, kind of dice looking things here flying off. We'll see if that has anything to do with the whole name of Roll for the Galaxy. Um, I assume it'll be some space based game in some way where you're rolling quite a few dice. Then we've got we got all of Rio Grande's other games here if we want to buy any of those. Then we've got Roll for the Galaxy, the Race for the Galaxy dice game. The rule book here. Looks a little... <laughs> I don't know what it is about this. It looks very boring in a way with the the gray background. It does not feel very spacey. Usually in space games I expect it to be a little more uh, colorful, especially you know based on the box. Looks kind of nice with the blues and oranges kind of mixed together. So it's just not saying it's a bad roll book. Just looks a little a little dull. And we got ten. We got some question and answers for some fine points. So hopefully, um, hopefully it'll be very clear on uh, certain things. Cause definitely having a good rule book can make or break a game if it's a bad one. Bad one. And then what do we got here? Got some different boards. They're combined together. That piece there. Um, so we got some more decently blah looking pieces of cardboard. For some reason these ones are stuck together. Um, it's a big piece but it's a little thin cardboard. It's not awful. Um, I felt thinner. It's not really popping off there extremely easily but just kind of attached in those couple points. Yeah it's not too bad. It's a little thin but not not awful. Definitely seen a lot worse. Um, just got some more boards here. These are all pretty large. I don't know if these are uh, player boards. Not a hundred percent sure. Interesting. Must be some sort of player boards because I don't know why else we'd have three of them. Oh, it might actually be a little. Yeah, I think it is a, a little player screen. Now that I'm looking at it see in the background. Yep. So this will come out of here. Looks like it's a little screen. So yeah, looks like it'll set up nicely. Nice. We got some more cardboard. Got some more. Let's have the five player screens there along with some other probably game boards. Well, so far this isn't feeling very rolly. Not seen any dice yet. Oh, maybe there they are. <laughs> Hiding down there. We've got some tiles. The artwork on them is, it looks nice. Looks like some nicer artwork, but it's still, I don't know. There's something about them being with that gray. To me anyway, that it's just a, a little bit dull. Not awful, but just a bit dull. For my taste, got some more you know, nice chips here. Um, yeah, these are perfect amount of thickness. I think it's actually a little thicker than those other boards, but I don't think we wanted those very thick since they were player screens. Some more interesting artwork. It's definitely not not my favorite, but 
still interesting. Got some more here. So I'm not sure what all these tiles are used for. I'm assuming you can purchase them or something and use them to do special things. If I had to guess. Got some more player boards. Maybe that would look nicer to me if I held it up the right way. <laughs> Definitely could heard it. it. Looks like the front and backs are different. Interesting. Got some more boards. Cardboard pieces. Yeah, they pop out pretty nicely. Nice. Ooh, now we're getting into a little more colorful pictures. It's interesting. Yeah, based on the cover, I don't think the actual artwork in the game is my favorite. I really liked the cover, though, so it's a little interesting. Ooh, what do we got here? I did... Surprise. I did not know cup... Oops. Some cups in this game. Ooh, we're going to get to have our own dice cup. Got some nice colors. Um, they're about the perfect size for a dice cup. Not too large, but large enough. You can shake it around. Then we've also got some little pawn figures. I would say meeple, but not really sure what these are. <laughs> Assuming they're for a, yeah, some sort of scoring track or something used to mark mark where each player is. We got the five five different player colors. A lot of the normal colors here. They look interesting. Might be a running guy. He's running. I think it was Race for the Galaxy is the other one, so maybe he's racing. He's getting ready to play Roll for the Galaxy though. Then we've got the dice. So here's where we're going to be rolling, I believe. Actually, we got a big big bag as well. This one's quite large. I don't know if we might store the dice in there or else the tiles. I think either one would fit. It's a very, very large bag. Oh boy. Got a lot of dice. Got different colored dice even. Quite a few different colors. They, they look pretty nice. They're a little small, but Got some interesting symbols on them. The symbology, I'm guessing, will come as um, I play the game. Be a little, I'll understand what a what a circle is versus a diamond, or a rocket ship, or a, a little star. Interesting. I'm not sure. I don't know if I would have preferred these larger or not. I think they're probably about the right size. They're not too small. But they're definitely um, smaller than a normal die. But I think they will work just fine. Hopefully you get to roll a lot of dice in the game, and that's why they have to be small, so they're a little easier to handle. Put in the dice cup. Nice. Cool. So yeah, I think the symbols on these are pretty clear as well. Um... It's pretty clear what each one is, which is always nice. It's a nice when I don't think, at least from a quick look at these, I don't believe there's any symbols that are similar. Sometimes you get that, and that can be a little annoying when you have symbols that look exactly like each other or very close. No, those are nice. So, yeah, I, I'm definitely excited and interested to play this one. Um, mainly just to <laughs> roll all these different dice and learn what they all do. Um, and I'm also excited about these cups. I did not realize there were cups in this game. So that, that makes the game even more interesting. I'll have to get this one to the table for sure. And I always, I always do like when you have these different things to buy and it looks like um, they all have different effects. So some are, look like they're immediate. Um, 
you can produce, settle, uh, you may reassign. Um, yeah, it looks like these allow you to do some interesting um, actions that maybe break normal rules, uh, which are always fun in games. So, yeah, I look forward to it. That was everything inside the box for Roll for the Galaxy. If you have any questions on Roll for the Galaxy, leave a comment below, or if you've played it, let me know what you think of it, what your thoughts are. Um, I'd love to, I'd be interested to know what your thoughts are, if you think those dice um, are just perfect. Without playing, I'm not 100% sure if I'd prefer them to be bigger or not. We will find out. But otherwise, thank you for watching, and as always, don't forget to keep on nibbling.